Hello friend, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about iPad handwriting tips. I'm using my iPad Air 5 and Apple Pencil 2nd generation here with me. Don't forget to watch until the end for an exciting freebie. So, let's get started. These are some of my favorite pencil cases and sleeves and I will link them in the description below for you. What I'm using is the Apple Pencil 2nd generation here. These grips are from Paperlike and Elago. I really love to use this grip because it is so easy to put in the Apple Pencil and it helps my fingers to be comfortable whenever I'm writing or drawing for a long time. And it doesn't cause any pain when I'm using them. The Apple Pencil itself can also be a bit slippery and this keeps your fingers in place. Another pencil sleeves that I like are these ones. They are also from Elago and what I love about them, it really does look like an actual pencil. But unfortunately, there are times that these sleeves are hard to put on and takes a little bit of effort to put and remove the sleeve from the pencil. It also has a whole other side to use the double tap feature. Same with the grips earlier, these sleeves doesn't make my fingers hurt which makes my writing experience smoothly in the iPad. Having a screen protector for your iPad is a good way to protect them. These are some of the protectors that I have and I will also have them linked below in the description if you're interested to shop for one. What I'm using right now is the paper-like screen protector. It is my preferred screen protector for my iPad. When I write, it does feel like I'm literally writing on a paper. It creates that extra friction and doesn't slide whenever I write or draw. It has more grip and helps to improve my handwriting. First off, let's choose our pen tool. I'm using the app GoodNotes and they have these pen tools that you can choose what to use when you write for your notes. First is we have the fountain pen. It is a pressure sensitive pen and you can adjust the tip sharpness and the pressure sensitivity settings. Next is we have the ballpoint pen. This is my mostly used pen tool and one of my favorites. It is not pressure sensitive and it makes my note look neat and crisp. Last is we have the brush pen. It has high pressure sensitivity and it is perfect for artistic sketches, lettering, and drawings. So these are the overall pen tools of GoodNotes. I highly recommend testing them out and see which one feels natural to you. Also, you can adjust the pen thickness to your liking. What I usually use is 0.55mm. It is the perfect thickness for me when I'm using the ball pen tool since it helps me control the strokes when I write and makes my handwriting look neat. Our next handwriting tip is to use the zoom feature. We can always zoom in by pinching out using our fingers or use the zoom feature within GoodNotes. It can be found right here on the top left. You can move over the zooming tool to the area you want to write. This makes it easier to have a neat handwriting because you have more control over it and you're able to focus on each of the letters. I highly recommend for you to try this feature if you haven't yet and see how this helps your writing experience. In the GoodNotes app, there are some lines and grid templates that you can use to practice your handwriting. It helps you write in uniform and consistent. Another tip is to write slowly as this can improve your handwriting to look neater and better than writing fast. You can also use widgets like these ones. These stickers are handmade by me. It is my collaboration with Paperlike and these stickers are free. Let me know in the comments if you're going to use it. When you're lazy and tired to make your notes look neat, you can always use a handwritten font. I know this feels like cheating, but fonts are created for a reason and it's time to put it in good use. There are a lot of free fonts out there. If you're interested to know where to find cute and aesthetic fonts, let me know in the comments below and I'll make a separate video for you. This font that I'm using is my own handwritten font that I made and I'll give it to you for free. Yes, this is my free gift for you for watching this video. Link is in the description below for you to download. Let me know if what freebies should I give out next. Bonus tip! Here's how to turn your handwriting into text. Go to your settings, scroll down to Apple Pencil, and find Scribble. 
ensure to enable this feature. Last tip is to keep on practicing. Writing on physical paper is totally different from writing in the iPad. In my experience, it takes time for me to adjust with using the Apple Pencil and writing on a screen. But these tips have greatly improved not only my handwriting but just my overall experience using my iPad. If you want to switch to digital, it's very important to practice and just enjoy the process. You will get better, I promise. That's the end for this video. Thank you for watching and hope you learned something today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell button to notify you when I upload new videos. See you next time. Bye!